open. Okay. Okay, so let's just start with some warm up and mobility. So we're just gonna start with uh, squats. So just start your body weight squat. We're gonna do eight of them total, okay? So nice and slow, going down and up. Three. Six, two more. Seven, eight, good. This time I want you to go down into a squat, but I want you to go all the way down and try and open up your hips so you're sitting back, okay? So you're still, all my weight is still on my heels here. And I want you to think of pushing the inside of your knees out with your elbows. Just rock side to side. Okay, so you're sitting down all the way down and just rocking side to side. Just trying to open up the hips a little bit. Okay. And now we're gonna go into hip 90-90. So we'll take a seat on the ground. You guys can come to that one. And we're gonna go right foot forward or right leg forward, left leg forward, sorry, beside you. And then I want you to take your hands and then just gently bring yourself down into a stretch. Okay, so you're just holding that there. Okay, and then sit back up and rotate over to the right side. So your right leg's forward, so rotate over to the right side. Okay, now come back to the middle and switch. So you're gonna do left leg forward, right legs are to the side, and then bring your hands in front and bring your chest over your left leg. So you should feel a stretch in the back of your hip. Just holding it there. A few more seconds. If you can get down to your elbows, you can go down to your elbows. Okay. and then back up to your hands and rotate over to the left side this time. So think of pushing that back right hip into the front knee. And you should feel a good stretch in the back leg. Okay. And then we're, from here, we're gonna move into inchworms. So we're gonna do an inchworm with a, a lunge rotation at the end. So you're gonna reach up, you're gonna go into an inchworm, bring your right leg up, right hand comes up, okay? Right hand goes down, and then you're gonna walk yourself back up again. And then you're gonna go over to the left side. So inchworm down, left foot comes up this time. And you can even just kind of hang out here for a second. You can put the back knee on the ground and just open up this hip again, especially if you're feeling tight, and then bring the left arm up towards the ceiling. Okay. And then inch room up again. So we're gonna do this once more again on the other side. Inch room. Right foot comes up. Rotate. And one more here on the left side. back up. Okay. And then the last one we'll do for our mobility is I want to do your shoulder pastors. So you're going to come down onto your, onto your knees. You're going to stick your butt back. You're going to take your left arm and slide it underneath your right one. You can bend this right arm. Okay, so mine's bending. And I just want you to think of trying to get that left uh, shoulder onto the ground. Okay, hold for a couple seconds. Come up and then slide the right one through. And back to the left side. So we're just trying to get a little bit of mobility going on in the upper back. 
And one more on the right side here. All right, so let's go into warm up. We're gonna start with right side lunge for 30 seconds. So you're here and you're going up to the right side only, okay? For 30 seconds. All right, three, two, one, and go ahead. Right side lunge. Think about when you're going to that lunge, you're keeping this leg, like your outer leg straight, and then you're sitting back into like a squat, okay? So it's like straight leg, squat, okay? Think about that. Got 10 more seconds and you're gonna switch side. And switch, you're gonna go over the left side this time. Okay. Up to the middle and out to the left side, nice, good. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. High knees. High knees on the spot for thirty. Ready? Go. Yeah, good. Halfway through this one. Three, two, and one. You're gonna come down into a high plank and you're gonna rock on your toes back and forth. Okay, so you're using your core to keep your butt up. And go ahead, 30 seconds back and forth. Yeah, here we go, good. Okay. Morning. Hi. They're just doing high plank rockers. So you're just in a high plank position and then you're moving back and forth on your toes just for another five seconds here. And then we're going to switch it up. Okay. Three, two, one. Let's go reverse lunge. Okay. Right side goes back first and then drive up, okay? So knee drive, 30 seconds. Let's start with that uh, left leg forward, right leg back. You guys can go ahead. Good. Drive that knee up and use that core to bring it up. Yeah, good. Ten more seconds and then you're gonna switch sides. Three, two, and one. All right, so switch sides for 30 seconds here and go ahead. And then we're gonna go through those ones again and then we'll get into the workout. Good. Done, you guys. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Back to that right side lunge. Okay, so we're gonna start back at the top here, right side lunge. Um, this time, though, add a jump if you can. So you're going over to the side and then come up onto that one foot. Okay, so just adding the jump a little bit more complex. All right, and go ahead. Yeah, there we go. Try to drive that opposite hand of the one, the knee that you're driving up with. Yeah, try and drive it with it. Your right knee's going up, bring your left arm with it. Good. Five more seconds. Then you're gonna switch sides. Three, two, one. So same thing, just out to the other side with the jump and go ahead.
10 seconds. Three, two, and one. High knees. Okay, right into it. Go ahead. Ten seconds. Okay, and then those high plank rockers. So on your hands and then on your toes, try and just push yourself forward on your toes and then back. So you're not coming up at all. You're just going forward and back. Okay, 30 seconds. There we go, good. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, let's go reverse lunge with a knee drive. Okay, whatever side, and then I'll just tell you to switch. Okay, go ahead. Drive that knee up. Yeah, you can add a hop in there as well. Good. <clears throat> 10 more seconds and you're gonna switch sides. And switch. Last one to end it off with. The warm up. Last ten. Three, two, one. Nice. Okay, grab some water. Good. All right, so um, we're gonna start with the first circuit, three exercises. Um, the first one, you're gonna use one of your heavier dumbbells. So you're gonna do a reverse lunge. Let me show you here. So you're gonna do a reverse lunge. Um, the foot that is forward though, I want the dumbbell in that hand. So for example, my, le my right leg's gonna be forward here. My left leg's going back, so my dumbbell's in my right hand. Right knee forward, right dumbbell, or right hand. Okay, so we're gonna do like an addition of or two moves. So you're gonna go into a reverse lunge. You're gonna come up, bring the dumbbell up towards your shoulder, front squat, okay? Put it back down to your side, reverse lunge, up to your shoulder, front squat, okay? So we're gonna do that all on the right side, and then we're gonna switch and do it all on the left side. Okay, so grab a dumbbell, or if you have a kettlebell, something not too, too heavy, because I still want you to curl it up to your, towards your shoulder. Okay, so for 40 seconds, let's start with everything on the right side. Three, two, one, and go ahead. So the, the uh, leg you should be reversing back with, if you have your dumbbell in your right hand, is your left leg. Okay, bring it up to your shoulders, front squat, okay? I want everything basically loaded on your right side. So your the right leg is working. Exactly, yeah. And when you're going into that squat, widen your feet. Okay? So you're going down to that reverse lunge, come up, widen, squat. Put it back down, reverse lunge, widen, and squat. There we go. Three, two, and one, we're gonna go through these ones a couple of times. So, um, all right, so switch sides. So dumbbell or kettlebell is in left hand now and your right leg is going back. Your left leg should be the forward leg and that's the one that will be working. All right, ready? And go. Bring that dumbbell up to the shoulder. Yes, good. And then back down. Well 
done, good. You can even bring that other hand like out to the side. So when you're going down into your spread squat, you just have a little bit of balance, okay? Your core is having to work because everything's loaded onto one side, your core has to work quite a bit, even if you don't really realize it in order to keep you upright. Three, two, and one, good. Okay, dumbbell punches for 40 seconds. So this is where your lighter dumbbells will come in, okay? For 40 seconds, you're having them close to your chest or close to your chin, and then you're extending out for 40. All right, ready? And go ahead. As quick as you can. Yeah, good. Done, you guys. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Less than 10. Three, two, and one. All done. Okay, so we're gonna go through the circuit again. So dumbbell or kettlebell in right hand. The, your working leg is your forward leg, so your right leg in this case. And the one that's moving back is your left leg, okay? All right, three, two, one, and go. Come up and then curl that up to your shoulder. Front squat, yes, good. There we go. Nice. Very good. Down to that squat, good. Ten more seconds. Keep going. Three, two, one. Well done. Switch hands. Okay. So now your right leg's going back. Left leg now becomes the working leg. So that back leg shouldn't be doing anything. Just to stabilize you a little bit. That forward leg is doing all the work. Okay. And ready? Go ahead. Start with that reverse lunge. Yes, there we go. Good. Reverse lunge. Ten more seconds. Three, two, and one. Well done. All right. So grabbing the smaller weights for those dumbbell punches. For you guys to get set up for your dumbbell punches, I want you to try and get up into like more of a like bent. Sorry, you can literally not see my face. When you're doing these ones, instead of just standing here and punching forward, I want you to get more down into like a, not like a, like a little bit of a squat position so your knees are bent and your core is on, okay? And then from there, you're gonna rotate forward with your punches. Okay, try that. All right, ready? And go ahead. Yeah, there we go. Good, really, really focus on your core too. You're pushing your arms out, but your core is the one that's not letting your arms just kind of go anywhere. Well done, yeah. Less than 10. Three, two, and one. Well done. Okay, so we're going through that one one more time. Front squat, a reverse lunge, sorry, to front squat. Okay. <clears throat> and again, we'll start with the dumbbell in the right hand. So working leg's gonna be the right foot, left leg's going back first. Ready, and go. 
that reverse lunge. Up to shoulder, squat, yes, good. Less than 10. Good, and that's 40 seconds there. So switch hands. Last time you're doing these ones for the left side this time, left side. Okay. <clears throat> all right, you guys all look ready and go. Make sure you're sitting back on the heels when you go into that into that loaded front squat. Okay, hips back. Nice. Five more seconds. Get a couple more reps in if you can. And that's 40, well done. Okay, and then last one for the circuit, dumbbell punches. Okay. So same thing as the second set, getting into a little bit of a bent knee position. Drive your weight through your heels, core's on. Ready, go. 40 seconds. Move those arms as fast as you can, right back to your chest, and then put, punch it again. Good. There we go. Halfway through. Three, two, one, nice. Well done. Okay, grab some water. I'm gonna um, explain the second circuit here. Um, if you guys have for the second circuit, it doesn't happen until the third exercise, but if you have a mini band loop, um, a light one, like, um, and just to wrap around your feet, but I'll explain it. If you have one, perfect. If you don't, no problem. Um, okay, so the first one is gonna be chest press. You're gonna lay down on the floor. Your feet are flat on the floor, knees are bent. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go with your like more heavier dumbbells. You're gonna do three presses on your left. Okay, you're gonna bring that left one up, and then you're gonna do three presses on your right. Once you do um, three presses on each side, I want you just to do one press together, and then you're gonna start the circuit over again. Okay, so it's like three, three and then both together, and then back to three, three, both together, okay? So a little bit heavier dumbbells for the chest press here. <clears throat> um, and same thing, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. So I'll let you guys just get started here, okay? All right, three, two, one, and go ahead. If your weights are super light, you could always do this with like a chest fly too. Like instead of doing the press, you can do it like a fly one, two, three, and then back in together. Yeah, you can do that. Okay. Good. Ten more seconds. Three, two, and one. Nice, very good. Okay, you can stand up. We're gonna do alternating forward lunges. A couple different ways you can do this. You can hold two dumbbells next to you, doesn't matter. You're gonna go um, standing and then alternating, or you can hold a heavier dumbbell, dumbbell 
This will make it a little bit more unilateral, so a little bit more core work. You'll go out to one side, come up, switch weights, and then alternate to the other side. So you're, you're switching the weight to the other side. So I have it on my right side, okay, come back up, switch to my left hand, come back up, switch to my right hand. Okay, so totally, totally up to you. If you want to hold it up here, you can do that as well. Okay, it's just going to challenge your core a little bit differently depending on where you, where you uh, handle it. Okay, three, two, one, and go. Good, yeah. So you're still pushing off that front foot. Make sure you're pushing off through the heel, okay, not through the toes. There we go. Good. Ten more seconds. Three, two, and one. Good. I'm just going to grab my mini band, but if you have that little mini band, you can grab that now. Okay. So you want a lighter one because this is going to go around the tops of your feet, and we're going to do bicycles with it. So tops of your feet, if, the, if you have one, just going around here, okay? And then from here, you're just using this as added resistance to do a bicycle. So make sure that you're pulling it back with the tops of your feet. And then if you don't have the mini band, no problem. You're doing the same thing, bicycle. Okay, really trying to engage the core, low back on the ground. The mini band just some added resistance, a little bit different, okay? All right, three, two, one, and go. Yeah. So hands are still behind the head, just to support. And then I want you to really rotate that elbow into that opposite knee as you pull the knee up. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Nice. So you'll feel this in the hip flexor as well, in the front of the hip. Ten seconds. Three, two, and one. Good. Okay. Back to chest press. When you're doing this one, um, when you're pressing up with the one side, keep the other one up in the air. Okay. So if I'm pressing with my left side, keep this right one up in the air. Don't don't uh, bring it down here. It'll just challenge your core or your um, shoulder a little bit more, your shoulder stability, okay? All right, three, two, one, and go. Yeah, there we go. Three, and then three on the other side, and then one together. Halfway through. Sure you're breathing. Try not to hold the breath. Okay, five more seconds. And good, that's 40. All right. Alternating forward lunges. Doesn't matter where you hold the weight, you can do that alternating one, you can do them both together, you can hold it up at your chest. Okay, whatever you'd like to do. And three, two, one, go ahead. Try and keep that front knee completely aligned with your hip. If you feel like it's moving in towards the midline of your body, I want you to think of bringing the knee outside your body. Outside the midline, yeah, there we go. Nice. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Good. 
Okay, you can grab your band or your mini band, whatever you're using, or nothing at all for your bicycles. Okay. Knees are up in the air at 90 degrees to start. Hands are just, you're not pulling on the back of your head, but you're just supporting your head so that your core can do the work, okay? And then from there, you're gonna do the exercise. All right, and go ahead. Knee to chest, and then opposite elbow comes up to meet the knee. Yeah, good. So the back of that shoulder blade should be coming off the ground. There we go, good. Ten more seconds. Three, two, and one. Good. All right, so you guys are going to go through that circuit one more time, starting with the chest press. Get down and ready. All right. Three, two, one, go. All done. 10 seconds. And good. Chest press is done for the circuit. Up to your feet for the alternating forward lunges. And go ahead. Well done. 15 seconds more. Three, two, and one. Okay. And grab your mini band one last time. All right. And go ahead. Last one here. Nice job, nice job. Keep going. Three, two, and one. Well done. Okay, so the first two circuits are done. You guys grab some water and I will explain the third one. Okay, so for this third one. We're gonna start with um, side and front raises. So you're gonna have your dumbbells both just off to your side or just in front of your legs, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go out to the side and then up to the front, okay? And then on the other side, you're going out to the side 
up to the front. Okay, and we're just alternating these for the first 40 seconds and then we're gonna switch it up the second time through. Okay, so side, front, alternate. All right, ready? And you guys can go ahead. So you're almost gonna have like a slight bend in your elbow. You don't want it like completely locked out. Slight bend in the elbow. Okay, that way we hit the shoulder and not the forearm here. So we're going up to the side and then up to the front. There we go, good. And you're just coming to about shoulder height, nothing higher, okay. going keep going three two and one well done okay now this second one you're going to use the same weights and we're going to do a reverse fly but we're going to do um right side only so you're going to hold both your dumbbells but we're just going to do so you're going to have that like soft bend in your elbow again like you did with the the raises and you're coming out to the side okay for the whole 40 seconds just the right side so think of bringing your, like your scapula or your shoulder blade into your spine and think of bringing your elbow like back and towards your mid back as well. Squeezing the, the shoulder blade into your spine. Okay. So that's for 40 seconds. All right. And go ahead. So you're bent over. Good. There we go. Well done, well done. Fifteen more seconds to go. Squeeze, 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 squeeze the scapula right into the spine as you lift up. Three, two, and one. Good. Next one. You're going bear crawl, alternating out to plank. You're going to do a mountain climber. And then after that, bear crawl again. Okay, so I'll just do that again. You're in bear crawl position, out to plank, mountain climber, both sides, up to bear crawl again. It's like a three in one, okay? So let's do that one here for 40 seconds. So get in bear crawl position. I'll go through this one again with you. All right, ready? And go ahead. So bear crawl position, out to a high plank, mountain climber, back up to bear crawl and switch. Mount power to bear crawl. High plank, mountain climber, back to bear crawl. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Well done. Okay. Now for the second time through with those um, raises, we're just going to do side raises. Okay, so side raises for 40 seconds. Again, slight bend in your elbow. You're not rocking at all. You're not bringing the, the uh, chest forward and back. Okay, solid and then just raising from the shoulder blades or from the shoulder joint. Okay, ready? Go ahead. Ten seconds. Keep going. Keep going. Try and get those up, up, up. Two more reps. And good. Well done. Okay, that reverse fly again. So we did it just on the right side that last time. I want you to do it just on the left side this time. Okay, so you're still holding your one, your one dumbbell down, but then the left arm is coming back. 
All right. Three, two, one, and go ahead. Elbow back. Yes, good. Fifteen to go. Three, two, one. Good. Okay. Bear crawl to plank to mountain climber. Okay, get ready in bear crawl position and go. Bear crawl, high plank, mountain climber, back to bear crawl, good. If you ever feel like your back's floating up, try and bring your, your, knee, your knees down closer to the ground again. Okay, you're pushing your weight through the palms of your hand, the heels of your hand, not so much your fingers. Keep going, keep going. Three, two, one, nice. Okay, now third time through these guys. We're just doing front raises. Okay, out to the front and back down. So just to about shoulder height, and back down. This one, it's easier to rock through, like you could easily just rock through. So I want you to try and keep your core solid and just lift from the shoulders. Okay, last time through with these ones. And go ahead. Yeah, just to shoulder height. Ten seconds. Three, two, and one. Nice. Good, good. Okay, now those reverse flies, you're gonna do them both together this time. Okay, so you did right then left, now both together. Okay. Same concept though, bringing the elbows back towards the spine, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Soft bend in the elbow, not completely straight. Okay. And go ahead. Yeah, good. Fifteen seconds. Three, two, and one. Good. Okay. And then last one for the circuit, bear crawl to plank to mountain climber. Okay. All right, three, two, one, go. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. There we go, good. 
Okay, grab some water. Um, I have a three minute finisher for you guys and then we're gonna stretch. So I'm gonna explain this finisher. Um, it's an inchworm push-up ladder. So what it's gonna look like is, <clears throat> you're gonna go into an inchworm and you're gonna do one push-up. So you're in an inchworm, you're gonna do one push-up from either your toes or you're gonna drop down to your knees and do your push-up from there. Okay, so you're gonna do one push-up. You're gonna come back up, but I don't want you to stand. I want you to stay down here and then you're gonna walk back out. You're gonna do two push-ups. One, two, you're gonna stand back up. But again, you're not standing the full way, you're keeping down here. So you're adding a push-up each, say, every single time and you're going for three minutes, okay? At the, at the one minute mark and the two minute mark, I'll tell you when you're there. And then that way you can stand up and just kind of like shake out yourself and then go back into it, okay? But between the first minute and then between minute two and three, I want you just to come up just to, like how I showed you guys, don't stand up the full way, just the halfway, and you're adding one push up every time. Okay, so for three minutes, that's what we're finishing this workout off with. All right, so let's get ready in three, two, one, go. Okay, so you're doing one push up just to start, and then add another one in. See how many rounds you can get. If you have to drop to your knees at all to complete the push-ups with proper technique, I'd rather you do that. Okay, but keep going, keep going. Well done, well done. You guys just hit one minute, so feel free to stand in between your push ups just to shake yourself out, but I want you to keep going right back into it again. Still going for three minutes. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now again, you're staying, yeah, good. Now you're going back down to your push ups. And now I want you to still do them as you were just doing them. So not standing up between each rep, just crawling back to the mat. And I'll let you know at minute two when you can stand up again. Yes, there we go. Keep going, keep going. You guys got this. Okay, you guys just hit two minutes. So feel free to stand, shake out your shoulders a little bit, but then finish off the last minute strong. See how many rounds you can get. Yeah, shake out your shoulders, move your arms around. <clears throat> there we go. You guys got this, 45 seconds. Last 30. Almost there, almost there. Last 10 seconds, see what you can get in 10 seconds. Three, two, and one, that's three minutes. Well done, nice job. Grab some water, we're gonna stretch. All right, let's just bring the arms overhead. Get the blood flowing a little bit. Okay. And then you're just gonna bring it out to the side. Okay, and then to the other side.
Okay, let the arms come in front. And then I just want you to swing them across your chest. Okay, you're gonna bring your hands behind your low back, interlock your fingers, and then push the fingers down, open up the chest towards the ceiling. Okay, good. Let's go down to the ground here. Okay, bring one leg out to the side. And then instead of doing our rockers at what we usually do, I want you to come down into your forearms and then just feel that stretch in the front leg here. Okay, so we're down here, we're gonna come down to the elbows and just feel the stretch in the, in the straight leg. switch sides, bring your other leg up to the side, and then come down to your elbows, sit your hips back, and again, you'll feel that good stretch on the inside of your leg. Slowly come out of that one. Let's go seated, legs both in front, so feet together. And I want you to bend over top of into your knees here. So just feel a pull in the back of your legs. Okay, sit upright. Bring your right leg over top of your left leg, and we're going to rotate over the right side. You can almost like hook your elbow on the outside of your knee, push this knee across your body, and then open up from there. Okay, and then let's go left leg across and rotate over to the left side. Again, hook the outside of that left knee and push it across your body. seconds. Okay, good. Let's go down into, um, we're going to go into an upward dog. So we're going to bring the knees down to the floor and then push your hands to the, the ground, look up towards the ceiling. You're going to curl your toes underneath, lift your hips and then come into a pipe position here. Bring your heels towards the floor. Get a good calf stretch in there. Okay, same thing. Come back down. Knees down on the ground. Feet are flat. The tops of your feet are flat. And then looking up towards the ceiling. This time I want you to rotate. So I'm going to show you. So you're going to bring. You're, you're going to look over to the left side, so bringing this right shoulder forward, come back up to the middle, and then rotate over to the left side. Just to get a little bit more stretch in your core, okay? Um, pike again, so curl your toes underneath. Pike up again. Okay, and then let this last time, drop to your knees, go down into child's pose. Okay, let's slowly move her over to the left side. And 
and then slowly over to the right side. Awesome. And then slowly come up. Well done, you guys. We'll end it there. I will just stop this.